Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure for capturing a time lapse with a Raspberry Pi camera board. So, if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to some of the hardware I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. And actually, I'll put in probably some different products because I'm using some older products. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2 with the first version of the camera board, and I think there's a second version out of the camera board, and there's newer versions of the Raspberry Pi. And those will work better than what I'm using now. So I'm going to be doing this using the command line. So you could do this on the Raspberry Pi Lite edition. So it would work well even on lower powered Raspberry Pis. So I have the latest edition of Raspberry Pi OS and I'm recording this in January of 2021, but I'm guessing this would work on older versions too. So I'll start by opening up a terminal. So I have the Raspberry Pi camera board connected to the Raspberry Pi. So it needs to be enabled. So you type sudo space raspy dash config, hit enter and then go down to interface options and hit camera. And it says, would you like the camera interface to be enabled? Hit yes. And it says the camera interface is enabled, hit okay. And then I'll go down to performance options and I'll go to GPU memory. And I like to give it 256 megabytes of memory. So I hit okay there, I'll hit finish. And that says, do you want to reboot now? I already had those settings set, so I don't need to reboot, but you should reboot your system after changing those settings. So I'll clear my screen. So I'll go to a directory to store the time-lapse images. So I'll type CD space desktop. Now I'll make a directory. I'll type MKDIR and I'll just call this time-lapse. I'll go into that directory with CD space time-lapse. Now the software I'll use to capture the images is called Raspy still. So I'll type that and I'll type space dash T space is zero. So that's the amount of time to take the first picture. And I'll type space dash TL space, and I'll type 5,000. This is how many milliseconds between each picture. So 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. Type space dash O space, and then I'll type IMG underscore, and then percent side, and then I'll type 05D.jpg. So what this is going to do is this is going to name the images in a sequence with IMG underscore and then a number and that number will have five digits. So it, it will start off with 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then it will go to two, three, four, and I'll have those zeros in there so it orders it correctly. Next, I'll type space dash W space, and I'll type 1920, so that's the width in pixels, then space dash H, and then I'll type 1080. So this will give us a 1920 by 1080 image, which will equate to a 1080p video later. So I'll run this now, and you can see we have an image here. This is just of the ceiling and every five seconds it will flash and take a picture. So to exit out of this, I'll hit Control C. So if you don't need to see that preview, we can do the same command and we can just add dash N up here and this will do the same thing. So we'll take those pictures. So if we look in our time-lapse folder, and this is an older Pi, that's why it's going a little bit slow, but okay. So you can see it's adding on pictures. Every five seconds, it'll add a picture. So I'll hit Control C. So I want to remove these. So I'll type RM space star.jpg. I'll hit Enter. You gotta be careful if you use that command, you can screw things up if you're deleting things. You could always open up the file manager and delete them there if you're using a graphical interface. Otherwise, you have to do it on the command line. So I'm going to start this over. I have a bowl with a ice cube in it, and I'm going to melt the ice cube and take a picture of it. It's not the most exciting time lapse. One reason is it's a little difficult to set up the Raspberry Pi to do a time lapse in that if I wanted to go outside and do clouds or sunset, I'd have to run the power out there and everything. And uh, that's definitely worth it for a lot of people. But for this video, it was just easier if I found something I could do inside. Okay, I have that set up, so I'll remove those images. And I'll start this and I'll let that run till it melts off. Then we'll go over how to take those images and turn them into a video. Okay, the ice cube is finished melting. So I'll hit Control C to stop this. And now I need to turn these images into video. I'll clear my screen here. If I want to find out how many image files there are, I'll type LS space and then the pipe. And that's above the enter key usually. Space WC space dash L and WC is word count and L says how many lines. So if we do that, we have 1031 lines. So in order to turn these images into video, I'm going to use FFmpeg. 
So to install that, you can type sudo space app space update space ampersand ampersand space sudo apt space install space ffmpeg. I'll hit enter. And I think I already have it installed on this computer. I think it's default installed. So while that's running, I'll open up the web. This might run a little slow on this computer. Okay, so that Raspberry Pi hung up. So I disconnected it and hooked up to my Raspberry Pi 4, and I put the SD card in it in the Raspberry Pi 4. The only reason I was even using the older Raspberry Pi is that the case has the camera board installed in it. So this will run a lot faster and a lot easier. So you can check to see if FFmpeg is installed, and it is here. But like I said, if it's not, you run the command I was trying to run before it hung up on me, and that will install FFmpeg. So I'll open up a web browser here. And in the video notes for this video that I'm linking to below, I'll have the command I'm going to search for here. So it's in multiple places, but I'll go to my website and I'll go to the FFmpeg notes. And I realized I need to rename this, but I have GoPro convert images to time-lapse video. And this works on everything. It's not just a GoPro thing. So I'm going to copy this command here. I'll minimize this. And then I'll go to my desktop, I'll type CD space desktop, and then in the time lapse folder also, so I'll type that in. And I'll paste in this command. And to paste in the terminal with the keyboard, you use Control Shift V will paste. So I'll go through this here. We have FFmpeg, that's the software we're using. We have frame rate is 30, and that's the input frame rate. So that's the frame rate of the images in this directory. Then we have pattern type glob dash I, and then we have star.jpg. So this is telling us to look for JPEG files, and the I says make it case insensitive. VF is video filter. So what this line is doing here is actually not necessary for what we're working on now, but it could be depending on how you capture your videos. So crop is cropping it to 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so that's what this crop command does, and then scale scales it to 1920 by 1080. So if you had photos that were a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, this would crop them down, so it would cut the top and bottom off, so it's widescreen, and then it would scale to 1920 by 1080. Now, if you wanted this to be 720p, you could just change the 1920 by 1080 to 1280 by 720. The codec we're using here, the CV is the video codec, it's libx264. This is the output frame rate, which is 30, and then we have the PIX format, and we have yuv420p. So this should run on Mac, PC, and Linux if you use that. And then we have out.mp4 is the file name. So I didn't modify this at all. I just have to run this in the directory we're in. And it will create us a video. But it won't. Uh, that I is not for case sensitivity, I don't think. No. <laughs> I was thinking it was, so I misspoke there. So I'll actually just change this to be lowercase jpg. Or, oh, there's a space there. Maybe it is. I wonder how that space got in there. No, I think that is not. Okay, so I need to change this to lowercase here. Let's try that. There we go. Now it's creating the video. Check my website real quick while this is running. There is a space there. I'm not sure why. Darn, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> so when you see speed here, this is the speed it's creating it at. So it's like 0.10 times, so it's a tenth of normal speed. And you can see how many frames we're on. I forget how many we had. It was a little over a thousand, wasn't it? So we're about a tenth of the way finished. So I'll speed the video up here. Okay, that's completed. So to view this on the Raspberry Pi, we can run the OMX player. So we type OMX player space and then the name of the file. And this will play the video with hardware decoding. So here we go. So yeah, the world's most exciting time lapse right here. <laughs> you can barely see it. It probably would have been better if I had like a color bowl, but I think all our bowls are white. I could probably find a color one somewhere, but. So hopefully you have a more exciting time lapse than this. Clouds are really nice. So if you want something to test it on, maybe point it up at the clouds. There we go. So let's see how big that file was. 
if you do LH, it will make it so it's easier to read. So it was 3.9 megabytes here. So that's how you can capture a series of pictures and turn it into a time lapse using a Raspberry Pi computer with, with a Raspberry Pi camera board. I'll put a link below to my FFmpeg notes if you want to play around with FFmpeg some more. I have different like recipes on there to do some different things. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.